Zillow surprises investors by buying up homes. Real estate platform Zillow changed up its business model this week, announcing that it plans to purchase and sell homes in Las Vegas and Phoenix. Offers to Phoenix will work with agents to test buying and selling homes Zillow will be working with Berkshire Hathaway and Coldwell Banker to make offers on homes before it finds a buyer. Zillow will pay commissions and also make necessary repairs and updates and list the home as quickly as possible. Calling it instant offers, Zillow says, the program gives real estate agents the opportunity to acquire new listings by connecting them with motivated sellers who have taken a direct action to sell their home. Ad King Sir Martin Sorrell steps down from WPP following misconduct investigation. Sir Martin Sorrell has stepped down from WPP, the world's largest ad business. Sorrell had been in the midst of an unspecified investigation about personal misconduct and misuse of company assets. He has denied the allegations. 73-year-old Sorrell was largely responsible for growing WPP into the advertising empire, having founded the business in 1985. NASA's Planet Hunting Test Telescope launches Monday aboard a SpaceX rocket. Some of the most exciting space news of the past few years has been about Earth-like exoplanets that could one day support life. TESS, a space telescope set to launch Monday aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, will scan the sky for exoplanets faster and better than any existing platforms, expanding our knowledge of the universe and perhaps finding a friendly neighborhood to move to. Once it safely enters space, the craft will receive a timely gravitational assist from the moon, which will insert it into a highly eccentric orbit that brings it close to Earth about every two weeks. The Apple will repair some Apple Watch 2 models that have swollen batteries or won't power on for free. Apple will fix some Apple Watch Series 2 devices if they have a swollen battery or don't turn on, according to a new service policy seen by McRumors. The policy states that some Apple Watch Series 2 devices may not power on or they may experience an expanded battery and that it will service eligible devices free of charge. Only 42mm sized models are eligible for free repairs, which includes the Sport, Edition, Herms, and Nike Plus variants. Sega announces the Mega Drive Mini. Sega is getting in on the nostalgic, miniature console trend. Yesterday at Sega Fest 2018, it announced that it will release the, the Mega Drive Mini, a miniature version of the Mega Drive, sometime in 2018. The company also announced that it would be bringing a number of classic games to the Nintendo Switch this summer. How to save your privacy from the internet's clutches. Another week, another massive privacy scandal. Because they haven't been given a clear picture of what agreeing to share their data will really mean. The feature lets you share your position with your friends so, and here's that shiny promise, you can more easily hang out with them. Google accidentally reveals Android P might have iPhone X like gestures. Google is testing a new navigation bar for Android P that looks similar to Apple's new gesture and UI on the iPhone X. Google accidentally revealed the new navigation bar in an Android developer's blog post copy developers.googleblog.com% 2F 2018% 2F 04% 2F DNS over TLS support in, and the company removed a screenshot it posted of it in action. The new navigation bar no longer includes a multitasking button, and the center home button looks far smaller and pill-shaped. Austin is piloting blockchain to improve homeless services. While the vagaries of the cryptocurrency markets are keeping crypto traders glued to their coin desk graphs, the real potential of blockchain is its capability to solve real human challenges in a decentralized, private, and secure way. Government officials have increasingly investigated how blockchain might solve critical problems, but now one city intends to move forward with an actual implementation. The city of Austin is piloting a new blockchain platform to improve identity services for its homeless population as part of a competitive grant awarded by the Mayor's Challenge program sponsored by Bloomberg Philanthropies. Playground is betting big on robots. You find robotics in unexpected corners of Playground Global's Palo Alto headquarters. The former also had a run-in with Andy Rubin's dog in the company parking lot. Co-founder and CTO Peter Barrett clearly shares that enthusiasm as he gives us a tour around the space, pointing out each and every bot surrounding playgrounds delightfully on brand slide and swings. Facebook's bookmarks menu gets a facelift that makes its settings easier to find. Facebook is rolling out a redesigned bookmark section in its app that will make it easier to navigate and access various Facebook settings, including account settings, privacy shortcuts, news feed preferences, activity log, payment settings, access to help and support, and more. None of the options in the updated menu are new to Facebook. Instead, the changes are focused on centralizing a variety of controls that were previously located in other places where they may have been unknown to some users. Space opera is the funniest science fiction novel I've read since Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
Alongside very funny works like John Scalzi's Red Shirts and Terry Pratchett's entire Discworld series, the pinnacle of hilarious science fiction is Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, about the misadventures of Arthur Dent as he travels across the universe. In space opera humanity is living blissfully unaware of alien life until extraterrestrials appear and invite them into an advanced intergalactic civilization. But there's a catch, humans have to prove their sentience in a talent show called the Megagalactic Grand Prix, instituted after a galaxy-wide conflict known as the Sentience Wars. These three designers make wearables that measure the world around you. It was created by Wearable Media, a fashion tech studio based in New York City. Where other wearable companies measure and track our bodies, wearable media wants to use our bodies to track the world. CDN.com Thumber C V G H Q X F B Y 11 E 7 O U K W Z 925 W B 0 3 K equals 0 X 0 2040 X 13 60 1200 X 0 filters focal CDN.VO X writer Lizzie Plogic outside of new incorporated. How to check your Mac for 32 bit apps before Apple kicks them to the curb. These applications are relics, although some are still in heavy use without a development team to support or update them, and will one day be phased out for the 64-bit versions most developers have been spitting out for at least half a decade. Hold the option key on your keyboard and click on the logo in the top left corner. Click system information. It may take a minute to load, depending on how many apps you have installed. Waymo reportedly applies to put autonomous cars on California roads with no safety drivers. Waymo has become the second company to apply for the newly available permit to deploy autonomous vehicles without safety drivers on some California roads, the San Francisco Chronicle reports. It would be putting its cars, well, minivans, on streets around Mountain View, where it already has an abundance of data. Assuming the permit is granted, Waymo's vehicles will be limited to the Mountain View area, which makes sense, the company has been operating there, essentially since its genesis as a research project within Google. Elon Musk says humans are underrated, calls Tesla's excessive automation a mistake. In a rare mea culpa for the mercurial billionaire, Tesla CEO Elon Musk acknowledged that the company has been too reliant on robots for production. Yes, excessive automation at Tesla was a mistake. Humans are underrated. He also talked about this with CBS News's Gail King, adding we had this crazy, complex network of conveyor belts. And it was not working, so we got rid of that whole thing. Tesla has faced mounting public pressure amid a production slowdown for its Model 3, its lower-priced car. Apple memo warns employees to stop leaking info. Someone leaked it. A recent memo detailed the lengths to which Apple is willing to go to stop employees from leaking information about upcoming products. All told, the company caught 29 leakers last year, all of whom were fired. Instead, people who work for Apple are often targeted by press, analysts and bloggers who befriend them on professional and social networks like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook and begin to pry for information. Android P may get iPhone X-like gestures, according to Google's own leak. Google appears to have just leaked a major feature coming to Android P, the next version of its OS. According to an image that appeared briefly on the Android developer's blog for an unrelated feature, Android P will come with support for gesture-based navigation, and it's about time. Look at the navigation bar, here's what it normally looks like on a Pixel 2 running Android O, or the current Android P beta, for that matter, where did the recent button go? The disgrace of the King of Kong continues. The latest bizarre piece of gossip from the video game community is the public fall of video game record holder Billy Mitchell, who today got his entries in the Guinness Book of World Records struck off thanks to being publicly exposed as a cheater. The King of Kong used to hold the world record for the high scores in Donkey Kong and Pac-Man. Now, after a review that stretched back years, video game record tracking organization Twin Galaxies has determined that Mitchell used an emulator to obtain some of his records. Review, Dell's Inspiron 5680 is an affordable 1080p gaming rig that handles VR nicely. It's a good time to get into VR gaming. We're finally starting to see some premium titles launching on PC platforms, such as Skyrim VR and LA. I've used it as my daily driver for weeks now, and my habitual overuse of Chrome tabs and tendency to leave RAM eating games running while I alt tab back into my word processor haven't caused so much as a stutter. Apple's unreleased gold iPhone X revealed by FCC. A filing from Apple at the Federal Communications Commission reveals images of a gold iPhone X that has yet to be released. The 180-day confidentiality period on the photos has now lapsed, offering a clear view of an iPhone X with a glass backplate featuring the same gold tone as the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus released in September.
cdn.com thumber ppm kppo 0 tyqeh 1 v 8 ukjx 4 bhwq equals 0 x 0 2542 x 1450 1200 x 0 filters focal cdn.vox had apple used one of those iphone x colors for its fcc filing we wouldn't have gotten these photos of the gold model and a rare look at an unreleased apple product